Hey guys, MCO Gamer 27. Today we have something special. I was looking through my game collection the other day because what I do when, when I'm in the mood to play retro games, I just pick a console. That day I picked the Xbox OG. I've been so blessed. I own like a Netflix of games and I buy games and I buy games and I leave them there up to one day I want to see what they are, you know. So I haven't played a lot of my games. I mean, a lot because I have, I have so many that that you know it's impossible to play all of them. But anyway, so once a month or whatever, I just pick a console and I'll stay a few hours. That day, I decided to do the Xbox OG, the original Xbox. Then then I picked this up, Pip Pitfall, the Lost Expedition. I have had this in my library for years. Now, Pitfall for the Atari was my favorite game. I mean, I, like I said, I was born in the 70s, 80s, exactly that time, 1979. You know, I got, you know, I got the Atari 2600. A month later, I bought Pitfall. That was the best game ever as a kid. And then, and, and then they made Pitfall 2 for the Atari. Going forward, years, years, years goes down, um, years pass, and of course they make more 3D games of like Pitfall. So with that said, I said, oh, well, you know what? I got this, like, like I said, for years. I said, you know what? Let me play it. Wow. Now, humbly I say this, um, since I play so many video games, um, I like to think, I know what's a good game, you know, because the mechanics, how it feels. With that said, when I played this game, I said, wait a minute, like the way it feels, the graphics, the art style, the whole aesthetics of the game, the 3D world, you could tell this is a well quality game. Now, mind you, I haven't looked at YouTube videos at this point, looked it up. Try to look at real life views, nothing. I just, I played the game for a solid hour and a half. I said, you know what? Let me stop, because <laughs> this game, I can't put it down, but I want to share this with, uh, 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 with my, with my subscribers and to share this experience with them, you know? So, so I stopped, I had to force myself. It was that engaging, that it was a great experience for that 90 minutes. Anyway, like like I said, wow, this game is like, this game is like a hidden gem, man. Lord and behold, I put the game down. I go on YouTube and I look at real views. Everyone is saying, now you could look this up guys. What a hidden gem, the quality of this game. Oh my God, guys, this is like Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider mix, but it's Pitfall, the OG. But it's like you're playing an Indiana Jones game. And of course it has the Tomb Raider things as well. Climbing, puzzles, but at a more simpler form, but the art style, the whole aesthetic is amazing. And it looks good. And I said, I'm gonna have to play this live for my audience, for my people that follow me, because I have to. So give this game a try, guys. I'm going to be playing this, um, of this game live online soon, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll definitely let you know. I'm gonna be showing gameplay right after this video. But anyway, guys, this is a hidden gem. Oh my God, I I couldn't believe this. And of course, this is my copy. And this is um, fully complete in box, the manual and everything for the Xbox OG. But wow, what a hidden gem. Anyway guys, this is MCO Gamer and enjoy the gameplay. Peace.
assume I'm like most people. What are you doing? Turning on the charm. This is my medium set. Charm's getting to you, huh? What have we here? 